good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about density. Density is a material property. <coughs> it's important because it is something that we can use all around uh, the universe. We can take uh, iron or carbon or anything like that and then you go to another part of the universe and its density will be constant. It's a material property. And this is the equation of that. Density or this letter here, which is rho, is an object's mass in kilograms divided by its volume in meters cubed. And a really important thing about volumes is to remember the shapes of them. And on your data sheet, you are given quite a few numerous um, volumes. You're given ones for spheres, so a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. You're given a cylinder, pi r squared times by the height. Of course, you'll be given cuboids, etc. And these are on the front of your data sheet. So it's important that you are aware of that, the volumes on there. The other things they may do is start giving you things in different units, especially this volume. I'm going to give you an example of that now. So, let's say I have a sphere of 2 grams that has a volume of 2 millimetres cubed. Find its density. I've got to get this information into kilograms and into meters cubed. So first off, let's get my grams, my mass into kilograms. So two grams equals two divided by a thousand kilograms. So that there is two times 10 to the minus three kilograms. Because there are a thousand grams in one kilogram. Now this here is the one that normally is the problem. Two millimeters cubed is, now this is the interesting thing, people would go, oh millimeters to meters, you divide by a thousand. But this is millimeters cubed. This is divide by a thousand this way, this way, and this way. So to convert it, not only do I have to divide it once by a thousand, I have to divide it twice by a thousand, and in fact, three times by a thousand. So two divided by a thousand, divided by a thousand, divided by a thousand, is two times 10 to the minus nine meters cubed. <coughs> so how I did that was I divided by a thousand and this letter number here will tell me how many times to do it. So if this was millimeters squared, I would divide it by a thousand two times. So I have everything in my grams and I have everything in my kilograms and my meters cubed. Let's put this into the formula. So density, is mass over volume. So it's two times 10 to the minus three over two times 10 to the what? Sorry, minus nine. Two times 10 to the minus three divided by two times 10 to the minus nine. And that equals one times 10 to the six. And the units for density are kilograms per meter cubed. Now density can be used in all sorts of questions. You could be asked to find the mass, the volume in pressure formulae, stress strain graphs, that kind of thing. So it's important that you realise mass and volume and this density here. Okay? And that is density.